Thank you for watching. See you next time. Woo! Basically, the materials you're going to need are some, some metal cable. You're going to need this uh, pulley for the cable. This is where you're going to obviously ride down the zip line. Some rope for adding like kind of the harness uh, where you're going to be when you're going to go down the zip line. You're going to need two of these screw clips um, that are going to keep the uh, both ends of the cable in place in the zip line to make sure you don't fall down. And you're going to need a multi-tool to cut the rope and basically rig everything up. Also, one last note, this cable can hold 1,500 pounds, this pulley can hold 4,000 pounds, this rope can hold 160 pounds, and each of these clips can hold around 13, 1,400 pounds. So there's really not much to worry about in terms of falling down. All right, so this is, I'm going to try and make this as safe as possible. We have to rig each end of the cable with one of these clips in order for it to be able to swing around a tree and kind of lash to itself there in order to stay in place for our zip line, right? So what you're going to need is the cable and the clip along with this bolt right here which is designed to keep the cable in place because it's going to use it by clamping down on it. We can set this aside for a second right now and we're just going to focus on these two things right here, alright? If you haven't seen my video on how to do a bow line, it's one of my videos on how to tie a certain different knots. You should check that out if you would like. But basically, I'm just going to tie a basic bow line. I'm not going to explain it in this video too well. It's better to check out my other videos. But basically, you kind of do a sort of loop, like so. And then you want to kind of bring it through here and then bring it around. But since this is much thicker, I'm going to get a much longer piece of wire to be able to do this with. You want to do this, this. Loop it around, and then I'm going to kind of roll this down right here, and then put this through here, like so, and I'm going to try and kind of condense it as well as I can. This is really tricky, guys, not going to lie. Kind of have to, like, work with the rope a little bit, but eventually we'll get it. Well, anyways, I've made this little loop that's turned out to be this little loop after struggling it with it for a while like sort of two loops but when i let go it kind of loosens itself so i'm going to try and place this stopper to prevent it from doing that for when i clip it onto the clip how i'm going to do that is i'm going to try to take this and i'm going to bend it back like so and by bending it back it gives this thing space to go through next you want to unloosen it don't remove the bolts completely, just keep leave them on since you're just going to screw them back in a second. But then you're going to take this, this is kind of tricky, because you have to sort of squeeze it a little bit. Like this, you have to squeeze this end really tight, and then you have to basically force it through here. Alright, once you're done with that, just try and pull this a little bit. I'm going to pull this here a little bit too, and then start tightening these. I recommend using a wrench too. I'm doing this with my hands for now, but I'm going to get a wrench real quick to kind of help me out with this. Or pliers. Pliers also work. Pliers also work. You may be wondering why I'm not just using this loop instead of this one. Well, because if I use this loop, this has a higher chance of sliding out from here than if I use this loop. Which is why it's better, because there is less like direct load coming out from this loop that could loosen the rope. All right, it's pretty tight in there right now. I'm gonna just tighten it one last bit. You wanna make sure this is as tight as possible because this is what's it's gonna be supporting your weight. Um, like I mentioned before, like a lot of these things can support well of over, over a thousand pounds. So you really have not much to worry about except just the way you rig it. I'm almost 150 pounds. So it's not like I'm putting too much weight on it, but say a much uh, larger individual who might want to try this out is also able to do this with this way just be sure that all this is properly rigged up you want to get your cable and then you just want to put it through this loop not this one putting it through here will ensure that you are as safe as humanly possible well in terms of what with what we're working with here and then you want to kind of close the clip all right there we go 
So, I forgot to put the pulley before making the end, so I had to undo it and feed it through the wire. Alright, here's me unceremoniously putting the pulley through one end. Um, you just I, I don't think it really matters which end you put it in, I'm just gonna put it like this. As long as, I mean it doesn't matter which side is facing which, as long as it can easily roll like this. If it can do that, you're good, alright? Now I just gotta redo the knot and then we will get to almost the fun part which is just putting the two ends together. Now that you know how to make your zip line, it's time to set it up. You're going to need two decently sized strong trees that you can put them against. The first one which is the source, you're going to want to put real high up. So here I have with me a stool to help me uh, set this up. If you don't have a stool with you or if you want to make it even higher, I would recommend using a stick to kind of push it up. If you're still confused about what I mean by that, no worries, I will show you momentarily. So let's start by setting it up first on this tree as high up as we can, and then we're going to set it up on the tree down there. There's a slight downhill, so this will make it a bit easier for us to have it high up. To attach the zip line onto the tree, you want to take your the one end of the rope and here we have our pulley so we're going to just send that down because we don't want this to get stuck in the beginning along the tree because then it won't work at all right so then once we have that in place we're going to get up on our stool and loop it around i'm going to try and loop this as high as i can around the tree like so the point of this clip here is to basically be able to put the wire through and then be able to screw it on real quick. And then it's tight and secure and it should not fall off. And then next you want to kind of slide it up as tall as you can. Once you have it tight, you want to try and pull it. And then now it's really tight on. So it shouldn't slide down when we attach the other end. We want to lift it up a little more. Like I explained previously, we can use like a Y-shaped stick to kind of push it up. So as you can see, the path is pretty clear, so you want to make sure you have two trees, one here and one that we're going to try and find down there, and you have a clear path to go through because you obviously don't want to be crashing into any trees, bushes, or even spider webs. Let's go down there and try and find a tree that we can use as our other end. So I found a tree which was the uh, perfect candidate for this right here just because as you can tell the zip line is over there it's kind of hard to see with the camera but the since the cable is so thin but it's right there and then i wrapped it around that tree that i just showed you guys and then here is going to be the end tree that i'm going to wrap it around as you see though this doesn't reach right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my pulley system and the zip line and just kind of pull it a little bit see how it becomes a little more taut and then try now to wrap it around this tree and the good thing is it's thicker at the bottom and a little bit thinner at the top so i can place this at the top and slide it down and it should be able to stay in place better it would be best in this case to use maybe two or more people to kind of help you one guy holding it here the other guy pushing on the other tree to kind of add in that tension but unfortunately, I am only one person. If you look closely, I clipped it on here on this tree, which loops around this tree, which loops back around to that tree. And then this is the zip line over here. And this should not get in the way of the actual zip line. And it is pretty tight, as you can see right here. And yeah, I don't need to fully screw this thing on because there is no way this thing's going to be releasing that easily. Now it's time for the fun part, testing out the zip line. Let's do it! It's good to first test try your zip line one time before actually allowing other people to go on it or just before regularly using it because this thing will sag at first obviously because of your weight uh, when you first ride it and then after that it should stay in place. But I would recommend periodically trying to like adjust the rope up occasionally if you don't have it like on a notch or on another branch that's permanently supporting it, alright? 
see if it works. Moment of truth here. So as you can tell, it sagged and I hit my butt on the floor. Kind of hurt a little bit, but it's okay. Let's try and improve this by moving up the other branch as higher up as we possibly can, maybe even with sticks to make sure it's really high up to prevent it from sliding back down that low again. Well, you see, that's why you should try it out at first because now it's loose. So it won't, it won't work properly like that anymore because it'll be really low down on the ground, all right? I almost made it. I almost made it all the way through. But this, this is the source of the problem right here. There's too much sag on the line due to the fact that I'm heavy and these trees aren't able to fully keep it straight. Right? So I have to find some way to basically pull that tree back to keep this line straight at all times. Because right now this is not helping me right here. Right here. I have a break in the tree, which caused it to basically snap and fall down like this, which is not good at all because then it messes up my zip line. Because I'll Certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos, especially the ones I made on outdoor types, things, and other tutorials. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much again for 1,000 subscribers, guys. I am really happy and thankful for that. Thank you so much. It wouldn't be possible without you. And comment down below if you have any other video suggestions for videos that I can do in the future. I'll be sure to take a look at those. And lastly, hit that bell icon in order to keep up with my latest videos. I appreciate you guys for all your support, and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time. Woo!